Now I'm going to show you how to expand your photo onto your piece of paper that you measured. So remember this is the piece of paper where I got my dimensions correct. So for this you're going to need a pencil, a ruler, and a couple of pieces of tape. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is just put a little piece of tape here and here and I'm doing that so it doesn't so my paper doesn't slide around. It just makes it go faster. All right, I have my photo. Once again, I'm gonna line it up in the corner. I'm also gonna try and find a point that I know I can find again. In this case, I'm gonna use this point right here where the dog's muzzle is right up to the chair because I think that'll be easy for me to find a second time. So again, I'm going to line it up in the corner just like this. I'm going to take my ruler I'm going to run it through the corner of my photo and right there, right at that point. Okay, and then I'm just going to make a line kind of where I think it is, in that general area. Now I'm going to move it up here. I could move it here, but then I'd be in the way. I'm going to move it up to the opposite corner, but not diagonally. That won't work. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to run my ruler through that point, that point. And where these intersect, that is this. So I can erase this and find a second point. So I'm going to, this time I'm going to choose where the dog's bandana meets the face. Put it through the point right there, make a line, do the same thing up here. a line and that's that so then I can connect those so I'm gonna make like your own little dot to dot for this image some people will find this tedious but to me it's a lot more foolproof than doing a grid I'm just not a big fan of grids I think they take a lot of time um, on the front end and if you don't get everything correct you're gonna just have problems throughout the whole thing so to me, this is, I can give myself a little bit of scaffolding or a lot, depending on what I want. So I can continue to do this all around the dog's face, finding points on the body up here until I have my nice drawing of my dog. I want to show you, there's only really one way to screw this up. I'm going to show you what it is. So if I were to take this picture and put it here, and I'm going to run it through that same point, the original point. But this time, if instead of following along the same side of the ruler, I went to this side of the ruler to make my line, then it would be off. So you need to make sure that you're always using the correct side of the ruler, the side that is running through the picture. And that's it.